Hi, my name is Alex Carlucci. Uh, I'm with Gustin Show Associates. I want to talk to you about um, something I talk about at all the closings that I go to locally. And it's a great tool. Not many people can follow it. But if you make one extra mortgage payment per year, so you can make it $100 each month, which adds up to $1,200, if that's your mortgage payment, that would be one mortgage payment per year. Or you can throw $1,200 at the end of the year in one shot. And if you make one extra mortgage payment a year, you'll knock your mortgage down four and a half years. You'll have a 25 and a half year mortgage. Um, now, not only will you shorten your mortgage, you're going to save tons of interest. If you ever look at these amortization schedules, um, it shows you the payments and how much you pay total after 30 years. A $200,000 loan could cost you $450,000 total. So that's $250,000 in interest. When you make these extra mortgage payments, not only are you shortening the years, you're, you're shortening that, that, you're cutting off that total interest. You can, you'll end up saving probably fifty grand on making an extra mortgage payment. If you make two extra mortgage payments, you can knock it down to 21, 21 years, and then they're going to save $100,000 dollars interest and if you make three extra payments you're almost down to 15 16 years I highly recommend it not many people can follow it it is a great tip to saving interest uh, I want to let you know some people um, they want it they're, they're battling between should I go a 13 uh, sorry a 30 year fixed or a 15 year fixed um, with people who are not really sh unsure I always say do the 30 year fixed but make the 15 year fixed payment and you'll pay it off in 15 years so if you stay to a regiment of making that payment, the only benefit then of why do a 15 year ever is because you get a better interest rate on the 15 years. So it's, you have to maybe make a little bit more of a payment, but if you make that 15 year payment, it'll, be, it'll shorten your loan to 15 years. So you can, you can simulate a 15 year when you get a 30 year fix, but if something were to go wrong and you had a little squeeze in some money, you couldn't make the payments, you can make that 30 year payment to relieve yourself a couple months if you need to. Now that'll ruin your formula, it might take 16, 17 years now to pay it off if you don't stay to that strict regimen. So those are another trick to, to, re, to not being so stressed out about a 15 year payment every single month. What happens if you can't make it? Do a 30 year but make the 15 year payments is my solution. But always, always throw some extra money at that, at that house. It's so hard to get the money out of your house. It's like a savings account. You're saving interest. You're saving years and time. I highly recommend it. I recommend it to all my clients. If you got any questions, give me a call. 630-915-7550. Thank you.